What's up, family? Welcome back to another awesome United We Move workout with me, Teddy Savage. I'm super excited to have all of you beautiful people here with me today because guess what? You are my inspiration to keep moving and grooving. Now today, we're going to do that and get our mojo going whether you're at home or back in the club. And if you are headed back into the gym, be sure to check that crowd meter before your arrival. It'll help you decide when's the best time for you to come on in and visit. And at Planet Fitness, we believe that your fitness is essential and that every minute you dedicate to your fitness and wellness is mighty indeed. But guess what? I heard they say that you make abs in the kitchen and our kitchen is the 360 area today. It's perfect for a total body functional training experience. And the chef special, well, that's abs souffle, baby. So we're going to turn the heat up just a notch, but you know the golden rule. But for any great workout, we got to start with a great warm up. So let's get cooking, baby. And I'm talking about literally and figuratively. Here we go. So let's start with the dynamic warm up. We'll go Y, T, W's. But you know, we got to bounce a little bit to get blood flow not only to our muscles, but to lubricate our joints as well. Remember, the Y is for the shoulder, the T is for the chest, and the W, that's for the back. So come on in when we got 30 seconds. Ready? Let's get it. Y, T, W's. Now I see you moving. Y, T, and W's. Big smile, eyes up. Y, T, W, engage your core. Y, T, and W. Smile big, baby. Let's go. Y, T, W's. Two times. Let's finish. Y, T, and W. Last time, best time. Y, T, and W, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And hey, listen, even though we're focusing on core today, the body is one comprehensive unit. So as we do our dynamic warm up, we should hit upper, lower, core, and get our heart rate increased just slightly. So our next one is going to be toy soldiers. I want you to widen out your base so you're more than a hip width apart. And I want you to have your arms spread out so you're in the X formation. We'll bring opposite hand to opposite foot, really stretching as we reach for that toe. That's going to help to engage those abdominal muscles, right? Good. And we're adding a slight twist. That's engaging our obliques. Outstanding. Obliques are those muscles that exist along the side of your body. I want you to focus on breathing. So as you reach, you breathe out. So it's out and in as we reset. Good. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. Last rep. Best rep. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Now we're starting to heat things up in the kitchen. And the 360 area is the perfect place to do it because we can use not only body weight, but functional accessories as well. Our next dynamic warm up is bend and reaches, okay? So we'll stand right here, feet about hip width apart, and we'll hinge one, two, three, and four. One, two, three. Come on in, baby. Let's groove. Let's move, baby. Remember, chef special, ab souffle. As a matter of fact, I want you to tell me what your chef special is. What do you like to cook up in the kitchen, right? Maybe it's a little pasta, right? Maybe it's steaks. Who can deny a good steak and potatoes dinner? Not me. Keep moving. Keep grooving. Remember, this is really good to start to loosen up my posterior chain, hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. We're going to a four count. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Last time. Best time. Jump real high, baby. And relax. That's what I'm talking about. Now, this last one, you know it to be an oldie but goodie, right? We did it at recess. They do it in the armed forces. We're doing it today. Whether you're back in the gym or you're still in your living room, I just need you moving and grooving. Here we go. Three, two, one, show time. One, two, three, four, or modify. Just step out to the side. That's going to safeguard against impact to those joints in the lower body. But if you're ready to get that mojo moving, we right here on the balls of our feet, chest up, nice and proud, chin up, smiling big, because a big smile, that's the main ingredient to the chef special today. Ab souffle, baby. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Focus on your breathing. Into your nose and out through your mouth. Supplying those muscles with proper oxygen is key for performance and to safeguard against injury. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. Let's talk about today's menu here. Huh? Why not? So, every core exercise we do today will be from a seated or floor position. So, I want you to take a moment. Go ahead and grab a mat if you have one. If not, just a nice comfortable spot on the ground. But we're not gonna stop there because we're cooking today. We're gonna add a little bit of spice. 
So we're gonna do a superset from a core movement to a cardio acceleration movement. Again, all from a grounded position. So if you're ready to get cooking, let me hear you say, oh yeah. All right, I heard you baby, I can't see you, but I can feel you, so let's go on back in. Our first one is gonna be crunches into mountain climbers, okay? So I'll find my spot on the ground. For crunches, I wanna start with my legs at 90 degrees, right? Heels down, toes up. Fingertips by my earlobes, and I'm just coming up as I exhale. And down. If you wanna add the sauce, we have feet up and going here. Now, when I say switch, we'll just roll over to this position, hands right underneath the shoulders, and we're getting up that mountain for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, show time. We're 60 seconds for the core exercise right here. As you go up, you're breathing out. As you come down, in through the nose. I got my stopwatch right beside me, so that way I know exactly when the time is to switch. And as we switch, we're going right into that exercise. Again, we want to maintain a high level of energy and sustain that energy throughout the whole routine. We're about halfway there, 30 seconds. Guess what? You can do anything for 30 seconds. Tell yourself I can and I will, baby. Last 10. Last 10. Make sure you breathe out. And then as you go down, here we go. Five, four, three, two. Last rep. Best rep up. Hold it. Squeeze. Now switch right over into your mountain climbers. Let's go. Remember to modify this one. I'm just going to step, replace, opposite leg, and replace. Making sure I keep my spine nice and neutral. That means I have a nice flat back. And I'm going. And I'm climbing that hill, baby. Remember, if you're in the kitchen, you can't be scared of a spice, right? A little bit of heat, a little bit of caliente. We got 10 seconds. Finish stronger than you started. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Outstanding job. Now I want you to breathe in and out. Good. As we go and we work our core, I want you to, again, make sure that you're breathing and maintaining oxygen flow throughout your body to go to your muscles and your joints. And now, we gotta go back in. This next one is reverse crunches for the lower abs right above your waist level, okay? So we'll be here, driving these up, tapping them down, heels down. If you wanna add the sauce, extend them out about eight inches off of the floor. When I say switch, we're right here into the same plank position, but now we got hop jacks from a plank, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one, 60 seconds, let's go. Good. Remember, for modification, we're just bringing heels down, driving these up towards our chest. You'll really feel this right here. Those abs at the bottom of the abdominal chain. Good. Drive it up. And if you're ready to add that sauce, we're here. Extending those legs out, eight inches off the ground. If you want to add support to your spine, hands underneath your buttocks, and we're still keeping the same mechanics. Driving the knees up towards your chest and extending them out. As you can see, I'm not going fast, right? I'm focusing on form and technique. We got 10 seconds. Last 10. Best 10, baby. Hey, why not finish stronger than you started? Why not? Four, three, two, one. Let's switch it up. Here we go. In a plank position. And we right here. Four modification. Tap, reset. Tap, reset. Remember, if you can, add the plyometric hop. That means I'm on the balls of my feet. I'm still maintaining a good neutral spine. Hands underneath of my shoulders. Belly button to my spine. Good. Breathing in through my nose and out through my mouth. We got 10 seconds. Last 10. Best 10. Remember, push five, four, three, two, and relax. Oh, baby. And you're probably starting to perspire a little bit. You're going to glow. Remember, we're in the kitchen in the 360 area. And you should be telling me what you like to cook up, right? As a matter of fact, maybe it's not a dish. Maybe it's an exercise. So if you're in your chef special exercise menu, you drop your favorite exercise right now. So our next combination is going to be a bicycle crunch where we bring opposite elbow to opposite knee. And then we're going to do a plank knee drop, which is basically a hop towards our hands. I can show you better than I can tell you. So our bicycle crunch looks just like this. We'll bring opposite elbow, opposite knee. 
good. I'm starting with my legs at 90 degrees, tapping the heel. If you want to add the sauce, keep those legs up, eight inches off the ground. When I say switch, we're back in this upright plank position. But now, hop back, hopping our hands up, or our feet up towards our hand, and back into the plank position. All right, three, two, one, showtime, chefs. Let's get it going. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Remember, exhale. Good. Inhale when you go back. Exhale up. Inhale down. It's 60 seconds to work. So whenever you're ready to add that cayenne pepper, then let's go here. I like a little spice in my gumbo, so I'm gonna keep my legs up. Eight inches. Control your movement. You wanna try not to rock back and forth, but be very concerted with your movements. Good. Opposite elbow. Opposite knee. Belly button to the spine. Remember, modification, we're here. Exhale, inhale. Good job. We got about 30 more seconds, right? So we're here. We got to finish stronger than we started. That's some mental, mental toughness. If you tell yourself I can, then I will. Good. Last 10. Best 10. Here we go. Finish stronger than we started. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch it up. Remember, we're in the upright plank position. Here, drive and reset for a modification. Step towards the hand, reset. Step opposite foot up. Here we go. That's right, 30 seconds. And we're here. Drive, reset. Drive, reset, good. Try to keep a nice, strong posterior chain, all right? That means a good neutral spine. Drive, reset, modification. Step, reset, step, reset. Last 10, best 10, good. Exhale, inhale when you reset. Five, four, three, two, last rep, and relax. Good job. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. I love it, baby. Working core doesn't just have to be stationary. You can also add a plyometric element, like a hop, to get that heart rate accelerated, okay? If you need to, move at your own pace. Take a break when necessary. Take a drink if you need it, right? Stay hydrated. But this next combination is going to be leg lifts and to seated arm swings. So, we'll be here starting at 90 degrees. Drop those legs down to eight inches, come right back up to 90. For modification, one at a time. And when I say switch, we'll sit up, legs right here, body at 90 degrees, then we just arm swing. Just like that, really pumping. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Starting position and go. Good. Again, if you wanna support the spine, put your feet right underneath, I mean your hands, right underneath your buttocks, good. Belly button to your spine. Outstanding. Modify, drop one leg, bring it up, drop the opposite leg, and up, good. Make sure you keep your head down. Don't wanna strain that neck. 60 seconds, really good for those lower abs. And take your time through the movement, okay? Don't rush, enjoy it. If it's starting to burn, just smile and say, where you been all my life, baby? Modifications, 20 more seconds. We can finish. We can do anything for 20, baby. Let's go. Good, last 10, best 10. Five, four, three, two, and switch. Here we go. We're sitting up, legs flat, and we're pumping those arms. 30 seconds. It's like a running formation, but without the legs. But because we're still pumping those arms, rotating from the shoulder, our heart rate is still pumping, right? Our beats per minute, that's increasing. That's your BPMs, and you're going, right? Eyes forward, eyes always on the prize, baby. Here we go, last 10, let's dig. Finish strong, and then we started. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. That felt so good. All right, we got a few more combinations. I believe in you, I want you to believe in you just as much. And remember, they say you make abs in the kitchen. Well, our kitchen is wherever we so happen to be. So it might be in the living room for you. For me, it's the 360 area. Again, where you can get a total body workout, not only with your body weight, but functional accessories as well. So our next combination is scissor kicks 
into flutter kicks, okay? So I'll go one leg over top and alternate, and then halfway through, I'll do flutter kicks. And when I say switch, I'm gonna then march in place from a seated position. Let me show you. So my scissor kicks, again, I have my head down, hands underneath my buttocks to support my spine, and I'm going here, one leg over top of the other. Halfway through, I'll switch to flutter kicks. And when I say switch, I'm gonna be up and I'm just marching in place. Just like that. Here we go. Three, two, one, showtime. Let's get it. Scissor kicks here. Feet should be about eight inches off the ground, right? For modification, just keep one leg down, work on the adduction, abduction aspects of the exercise. And then when I say switch, then you'll just do switching to the opposite leg. But if you're in there with me, and you're keeping things spicy, we got both legs switching over top. Good. Halfway through, we'll go right to flutter kicks. Good. Hey, switch to that opposite leg if you got the modification moving. Good. Here we go. Really working those lower abs on this one. You'll also feel it triggering your hip flexors. Now switch. Good. Flutter kicks. Now we're a scuba diver, right? We're swimming in the depths of the ocean, looking at all the beautiful fish, the coral reef, right? If you couldn't go on vacation this year, close your eyes. Imagine you're on an island somewhere, scuba diving, seeing all that the earth has, right? We're here. Good. Switch if you're modifying. You're doing one leg at a time. Good. Here we go. Three, two, one. Now let's up. Good. Now we're marching in place, okay? So we're here. Good. Driving that knee up towards your chest. Good. Again, we're sustaining our heart rate. So make sure you breathe in and out, in and out. And you're marching at your own pace, right? So if it's slow, that's okay. If it's faster like that, then let's add the sauce. Here we go. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and relax, baby. Sit on up. Now let me talk to you a little bit. The ab souffle is all about working your muscles in a different way. Working your core is not just abs, right here and with your rectus abdominis. It's also obliques and also the muscles that support your spine and your lower lumbar. It wraps around your body sort of like a ring. So we're gonna try to hit every aspect. Whenever you do a plank, you're really working those muscles and the entire transverse abdominis. Whenever you're doing crunches, you're really working these muscles right here along the abdominal chain. Whenever you're twisting or doing any type of bend to the side, you're working obliques. So now let's hit those obliques, why not? We got torso twist, and then we got toy soldiers from a seated position. So we'll be here, we're gonna twist side to side. Some call this Russian twist. When I say switch, then we'll have legs out and do our toy soldiers from a seated position. Three, two, one, let's go. Russian twist or torso rotations, okay? If you have a weighted object, you can have that right here. Make sure you're turning your entire torso, right? Not just your hands, but your chest, your shoulders, your chin, and your eyes moving together. This is 60 seconds. If you want to, you can just go one side, back to start. One side, back to start. Good. As long as we hit both sides equally, baby, why not? We're halfway through. We got 30 seconds. Push yourself. I'm here with you, baby, me and you. Me and you, it's not too tough. It's not tougher than us. Three, two, one. Now let's switch. Right into our toy soldiers from a seated position. So it's opposite hand, opposite foot. Good, just like that. And again, as we exhale, we bring that hand towards that foot. Really breathing out allows us to get fullest range of motion. Good. Outstanding team. I love the effort that I'm seeing out there. I feel you, baby. Let's go. Chef special all day. Why not? Add that spice. Turn that heat up. Last 10. Best 10. 10 seconds. Finish stronger than you started, baby. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Let's come back to the knee. Now, I want you to think about where you do or where you feel these exercises. Whenever we lift our leg up or drive our knee towards our chest, we should feel it right here in the hip flexors and lower abs. These are responsible for triggering that movement 
in your body, right? When we twist, we should have really felt that right here along the side of our body. Again, that's called your obliques. I want to empower you all through education because your learning inspires me, baby. All right, so our last combination is C-sit, side bends, and then sprinter crunches. Oh yeah, baby, that's the sprinkle on top, right? That's the salt right there. All right, so a C-sit is just like this. We'll have our legs at 90 degrees, heels down, toes up. We'll come back so that we have sort of a lower KC going on with the formation of our body. From here, I want you to try to reach down and touch your heel. Again, working those obliques. When I say switch, we're gonna lay down flat. And as we exhale up, we come up into a sprinter crunch, like we're sprinting in the Olympics. Okay, so here we go. C-sit, let's get it. Child bends, good. Try to touch those heels, okay? Really reach as far as you can. If you reach further, you engage those obliques a little bit more, but you go to your range of motion. And if you can't touch those heels, that's okay, baby. It's not about perfection. It's about trying to get better. The pursuit of better right here. Good. Bend, reset. Bend, reset. Chest up, shoulders back, eyes forward. You should feel accomplished already, baby. We're here, we're moving. And that's all this year is all about. Just deciding to move. We got 10 seconds. Last 10, best 10. Breathe out, breathe in. Five, four, three, two, let's rep. Oh baby, let's switch it, let's switch it. Let's lay out flat, palms down. Let's breathe out deeply. Good, and down, sprint a crunch. Up, down, good, up, down. 30 seconds, up, down, nice and slow. Up, down, good. Exhale, really drive that knee up, belly button to your spine. Good, for modification, we're just going here. That's okay, crunch and drive, just like so. We got five seconds. Let's finish stronger than we started. Three, two, last rep, up, and team. That was incredible. We went in the kitchen and we cooked those abs up today. But guess what, after you eat that entree, what do you got to do? You got to cool it on down for dessert. So let's do it from a knee, okay? What I want you to do first is really have this right leg out. Left knee is down. Take another step forward towards me and lean forward. Let me show you from a different angle so you can see I'm trying to get this hip flexor down to the ground. Really stretching out this area in the top of my quad as it connects to the hip flexor. Lean into it. Good. Hold it. Three, two, one, and reset. Let's switch sides. Good, so I have my left leg forward, a little bit more pronounced, not overextended past my toe, and I kind of drive this hip flexor down towards the ground. If I want to really use my hands actively, I push my hips through, engaging that stretch a little bit more. Good, chest up, shoulders back. Be proud in your posture. Breathe in and out. In and out, good job. Now from this position, what I want you to do is walk your hands out, good. And I want you to put your hip flexors down onto the ground for a cobra stretch. We'll have our palms flat, chest up. Good, just like this. Again, sky those eyes. Breathe in and out. If this puts too much tension on your lower back, come down into the sphinx and get that same stretch through the abdominal chain and lower back. Hold it here, good, and let's rock it back into child's pose. Right here, sit back on those heels, keep your arms extended, palms flat. You'll feel the stretch through your lats and your back. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. One more time, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Good, and team, that was incredible. I tell you what, it got a little spicy in that kitchen, but you know what? I think we cooked those abs and obliques up just right. And remember, 2021 is all about just getting your body up and getting in gear. And you know what? We're here to help you do just that. And as a matter of fact, as a Black Card membership, you have access to all of our 2,000 plus locations worldwide. So it should be one 
very close by you to keep that mojo moving. And if you want even more content, stay tuned in to all of our social channels and the Planet Fitness app. Until next time, baby, love yourself, love each other. Peace.